Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, welcome to Ikeda. Today we will see a topic called as ladder network. So let us see why it is called ladder network and how it is solved. Here you can see I have drawn a specific circuit where there are impedances and admittances Z1, Y2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we know that admittances are connected in parallel and impedances are in series. And we are supposed to find Z of S that is equivalent impedance or we can say input impedance. So let us see how to find it by using ladder network. So ladder means you will go, we all know that how we climb up by using ladder. We use step by step. So for this network also, step by step, starting from my right to my left, you will solve it and you will get the total impedance function. Not only impedance, but also voltage transfer function or current transfer function or impedance function can be calculated by using ladder network. But only condition is the circuit should be sophisticated or like this. So let us see how to solve it. Here I can see there is admittance Y6 which is added with this Z5. So if I want to add both because this Z5 is impedance and this is admittance I will have to inverse this or reverse this and then add with Z5. So let us give some name to this point. This is A and this point is B. And so first what we will do, we will calculate the impedance which is seen like this and we will add Z5 and Y6. So while adding them, the equivalent impedance will be Z equivalent will be equal to 1 upon Y6 plus Z5. This will be because Z5 is in series and Y6 is in parallel and we are calculating impedance. So it will be 1 upon Y6 plus Z5. Now we will go further. So right now we are covered this much region. This region we have covered. Now when you come here, there is again admittance which is of Y4. So because it is admittance and already we have calculated equivalent impedance, let us give this name as Z dash. So this Z dash is equivalent impedance which corresponds to this black box. So when it is to be added with this admittance, it is to be reversed or inverse is required. So what is required is 1 upon Z equivalent dash plus Y4. And so at this point, so if you take this Y4 into consideration along with this, so if you extend this black box up to this point, so you want to consider all this part Y6, Z5 and Y4, then you will have to reverse this which is to be added with admittance called as Y4 and so you will get new admittance which is called as Y dash and that will be equal to 1 upon reverse of this that is plus this Y4. So for adding admittance we reverse this and we got the equivalent admittance which is Y dash equivalent. So this can be called as Y dash equivalent this particular box. Now again when I come further I can see there is Z3. So for adding this Z3 what I will do I will reverse this because Z3 is impedance which is in series and now I will calculate Z equivalent double dash so that we will extend this now further. So now I will calculate see when I take all these things into consideration Y6 Z5 is Z dash, let's say it is Z dash equivalent. Then when I consider Y4, it becomes Y equivalent. So better we call this as Y equivalent dash. And then when I take consideration into Z3, it becomes Z equivalent because we have used one dash or prime here. It will be double prime or double dash. So Z equivalent double dash will be reverse of this or inverse of this plus Z3. So we will take 1 upon this term and we will add with Z3. So this 
So 1 divided by this particular term. So we will take everything. So we have got this z equivalent double dash. That means we have covered up to point B or this region. Now when we want to include this y2, so suppose we want to include this y2 also. So again we will take the inverse and we will add y2 because it is admittance. So we will take inverse, we will take inverse of this particular term. y2. So this is how I got y equivalent double dash but that is not my aim. Our aim is to include this z1 also. So now I will reverse whatever I have got. I will take the inverse of it and I will add it with z1. So z of s so that I will get when I include this z1. So we have included every component. So when I want to include z1 because it is in series I will have to reverse this particular factor. So that is nothing but called as z of s which we will do on the next page. So this is how I have got z of s inverse of this. So 1 upon this, 1 upon this factor and it is to be added with z1. So we have to write z1 which you have written z1 and that is nothing but your z of s. So by using this ladder technique means going step by step from right to left or we can say from load to driving point we can get the equivalent impedance which in this case is this which we have got. So this is how we have solved this problem. Some upcoming problems will be little bit difficult and we will solve them. So till then thank you very much. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you very much.